Hello again. I am very tired, and I almost thought about not recording anything today. And also, it is true that you have to build up uh, vlogging arm muscles but holding up the phone, so I apologize if it's a little shaky. Uh, I would like to sleep. Also, I should probably find some sort of phone tripod stand thing <clears throat> to do this with. Selfie stick, maybe? Are those pretty stable? I don't know. I could probably borrow one. I'm rambling because I'm tired. Uh... So, I did have a topic I wanted to talk about in this vlog. We'll see if I actually get to be able to talk about it. Um, I have made progress. I did try riding on the train. It was a disaster. Um, it was kind of painful on my tendinitis. But it did get me thinking about uh, a topic, and I started. I opened a Google Doc, and I'm working on that when I have time. The, I have, I've noticed this problem that when I pick a topic, sometimes it's something I want to talk about. All of a sudden, it feels like it's a little, uh, like I'm wrong. Like this theory that I have is totally off. It doesn't make any sense. I'm grasping at straws. So like maybe I should just give it up. But then I think like I, I was really intrigued by this. So maybe I should follow through with this and just keep going with it. Like, because uh, I guess I'll just be up front. The topic is comparing Coulson from the movies versus Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. versus Coulson in fan fiction. And of course, in fan fiction, he has a there's a huge variety of personality. But the things that I learned more about Coulson via fan fiction than I did through the movies, like I think I had a certain image of him before I even saw him in Thor or remembered him well in Thor. And I never saw that. Was it a funny thing happened on the way to Thor's hammer? I haven't seen that yet, so I need to watch. I need to like rewatch Iron Man two, uh, rewatch Thor, and rewatch the the short. Um, and I have been watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., so I had to do all that, plus kind of reference back to some fan fiction, and that's taking a little bit more, that's a little bit more effort than I intended to put into this. Um, but I also want to be right about, like, how honest I'm being about things and stuff. Whereas, like, the Disney ones, which is probably what I should be working on first, are ones I'm doing from memory, because I don't have the time to go through multiple seasons of things. Anyway, I'm going to run out of time. I only have so much time on this. I might have to stitch two takes together. So apologies for that. Um, I need to, I have a lot of gifts in my camera and I need to get rid of them, but I can't because I need to use them to convey emotions. So that's the one thing I've been thinking about is the whole Coulson dilemma. And I should probably start working on one of the Disney ones so that I have a shorter one to do that's a little bit easier, quote unquote easier. We'll see. So the decision to make a cut was made for me because I got a phone call. That's how phones work. So I uh, was talking about, uh, oh yeah, I was talking about moving on to working on one of the Disney Channel things that I'm going to do from memory because that might be shorter and might be a little more fruitful. So maybe I can work on both of them, kind of shoot back and forth um, and see how that goes. I have to tell you, it's kind of hilarious trying to edit the ums out of this. And obviously I'm not editing all of them out or else it would be really choppy. And that's kind of how I've been doing the other, uh, the other couple of videos I did have been really choppy and I don't want to do that with this. So I'm trying to not say it as much, but I wasn't thinking about it when I started. So now I'm going to be thinking about it. So now there's going to be all these pauses that I'm going to have to edit out because I'll be thinking about it. More rambling. It's fun for everybody. So the topic that I had thought I'd want to talk about today before I woke up tired and continued to stay tired the rest of the day, was the idea that uh, when I first started watching, um, I guess, reviewers, was uh, Lindsay Ellis when she was Nostalgia Chick. And it's because I was looking up uh, Gem and the Hologram stuff on, on, hold on, on iTunes, <laughs> on iTunes. And uh, I just, I was like, is there any chance that there's like Gem and the Hologram shows or songs on iTunes? I'm going to check. I checked and I found this video somebody had done with their friends about how ridiculous and confusing and weird Gem and the Holograms is. And even though I love Gem and the Holograms and she didn't, um, I didn't care because I was just like, you can make videos like this and put them online. So then I found that that guy with the glasses website, which is now Channel Awesome, and I was watching the, the Nostalgia Critics reviews and then I found Todd in the Shadows and Cal Calgren and um, eventually moved on to Cinema Snob, um, and now I watch, uh, his, uh, the guy who created Cinema Snob, um, I watch he and his friends do midnight, quote-unquote midnight movie reviews. There I go with the quote-unquote again. And they do midnight movie reviews that are not technically at midnight usually anymore, but I have a lot of fun listening to him and his friends talk about movies, and I just really seem to enjoy people analyzing things and recapping them and talking about them. Not, like, every single... One that I find I've enjoyed, but like, there have been many. And I have, you know, now I watch the Lindsay Ellis Loose Cannon video series and I'm a Patreon of hers and I think she's amazing. 
Um, so yeah, all of her recent videos have been awesome. And of course I will link to all these names. I know I didn't put the Michael Ronda link in the last video yet, but I will do that. I'm still behind on sending out, uh, emails to people so they can know that I have a new video out because the people who watch my videos and the people who subscribe to my YouTube channel, that Venn diagram has a very, very tiny intersection piece. Um, which is just because most of my friends aren't into YouTube the way I am. So that makes it an interesting thing to... You know, I mean, like, obviously I don't have a lot of subscribers and I don't have a lot of views and I'm not aiming for that. I just want to do this for fun and, and a kind of way to blow off steam when I really do have a lot of things that I want to talk about that require a lot of explaining for me to be able to talk about them with the people who are in my life, whom I love dearly. We're just into different things. Uh, so, of course, when I found these reviews online, I was like, oh, you can talk to a camera about the things that you're interested in and do it in a way that's like silly and analytical and serious and ridiculous, like all wrapped in one. And the interesting thing about a lot of these people is that there's a certain amount of persona going into uh, these, a certain amount of um, either a, a made up personality so that you can kind of overreact to things or just an exaggeration of your own personality or various versions. There's various versions of that. Um, so I... When I first started doing this, I was like, oh, well, I maybe I want to do some sort of personality thing. Like, well, so maybe I want to do some sort of, uh, you know, but I just know I can't keep that up. <laughs> I can't keep that up at all. I also think that I have so much exuberantness, so much excitableness that uh, I have often, often has been commented to me about how excitable I am to other people um, that... I think that I think I have enough of that to kind of create an exaggeration of my own personality that is a bit over the top. As you can see in one of my videos that I made that I secretly want to remake because I was wearing different glasses then and I used a different camera, aka I used my computer instead of my iPad. Um, but I did this thing that is like my favorite thing I've ever done so far that is me uh, having a conversation with myself and recreating what it's like to have a conversation with me. And that's basically how it is. And that almost everybody I've shown that to, they laugh really hard. And I want to do more things like that to make people laugh. Um, so anyway, those are my thoughts on that. I don't know if any of that was cohesive. I'm probably going to have to put all that in without cutting anything. And I apologize if any of this sentence didn't make sense. Um, if any of this didn't make sense, I will elaborate next weekend when hopefully I, ha hopefully I have more time. My arm is starting to shake. You could probably notice the camera shaking. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to go to sleep. But before that, I'm going to clean the kitchen. Yay. So uh, I will see you next weekend, probably.